Ethyl benzene, C6H5CH2CH3, is an organic compound. Ethyl benzene is miscible with most organic solvents, however, but it will moderately be soluble in water. Ethyl benzene is volatile and highly permeable, because its flashpoint is between 19 and 23 degrees Celsius. Production of ethyl benzene important because 99% of ethyl benzene will be used to produce styrene, and another 1% will be used to produce diethyl benzene and others. Method to produce this compound is alkylation of benzene with ethylene in the presence of catalyst. This figure will show about the few applications of ethyl benzene. This operation uses continuous liquid phase reaction because ethyl benzene does not have any serious quality constraint while produce a high reaction rate. The raw materials are pure benzene and pure ethylene. In this process, we have two reactions, which are alkylation in coil cooled continuous stirred tank reactor, CSTR, and transalkylation in adiabatic CSTR. The products are desired ethyl benzene while undesired diethyl benzene will be recycled to reactor. For reaction scheme, benzene, B, and ethylene, E, will be added and it will produce ethyl benzene, EB. A side reaction occurs between EB and E will produce diethyl benzene, DEB. Last reaction shows that undesired DEB reacts with B to form more EB. Hence, the amount of benzene needs to be excess to increase reaction selectivity. This is the process flow diagram. Fresh benzene mixes with recycle benzene from first distillation column. The mixture will react with fresh ethylene in alkylation reactor, at 20 atm, 320 kelvin. This will produce EB and DEB. The reactor effluent from alkylation reactor at 20 atm, 434 kelvin and recycled DEB from second distillation column, at 19 atm, 407 kelvin, enter adiabatic CSTR, for further reaction which produce more EB. The reactor effluent from adiabatic CSTR at 19 atm and 432 kelvin enter first distillation column to separate the liquid mixture, where mostly of the distillate is B, while bottom products are E, EB and DEB. The distillate will recycle to first reactor. The bottom products from first distillation column enter second distillation column to separate the remaining mixture, where mostly of the top product is EB, while bottom products are E and DEB will recycle to second reactor.